So Hannah, when it comes to conchs and TNT, most people are confused as to which species is which. But many people can easily identify this species, but don't know much about it. For the ones that know everything about this species, this video isn't really for you. This video was requested by Hosu344 a while back, and I finally got around to making this video. So this is a black conchs, or freshwater conchs, Pomacea eucerus. And it is the largest of the inland aquatic gastropods found in TNT. Black conchs are active at night and on rainy days, but occasionally roam around early mornings and late evenings or whenever the temperature is low. Despite being aquatic, they do take oxygen from the air and slide up on land from time to time. But they are at risk of overheating and drying out. You know, like a bad second-hand car in the midday sun on the highway. Their diet includes everything plants. Yes, they are vegetarians and they will feed on any plant life. Black conks grow to an average size of around 5 inches, but there have been some reports of some 6 inches in size. You will find them all over TNT, but they prefer slow-moving tea or muddy color water. But you could see them in clean, clear water from time to time. Black conks breeding season occurs around June to December. Females will lay between 21 to 93 eggs in the aperture under the operculum around January and May during the dry season. About 22 to 30 days it will take for the eggs to develop. After the babies hatch, they will stay with their mothers for the rest of the dry season. During that time, the mother will go in a dormant state buried in the mud, waiting for the rainy season to begin. Many South American countries farm these mollusks. To me, their shells look cool, and black conchs taste good too, especially in curry. So, as you all know, I am the Wildlife Master. Like, share, comment, subscribe if you haven't already, and until next time, blessings and bless out.